OK, so let's say I want to differentiate each of these six, OK? Um, I'm going to use the chain rule in order to do that. So what we want is to really know the process that goes through the chain rule. Um, but also we want to be able to do this relatively quickly as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of these using the process, OK? And if you are able to work through these at a quicker pace without having to write everything down, that is perfect, OK? But if needs be and you need the practice uh, and there are bits you're not quite sure of, then feel free to write it out in the long way, OK? So we're going to start off with number 1, uh, y equals 2x plus 7 to the 5. So first of all, what we do is we write down what u is. That is the function that is inside. So that's the 2x plus 7. And then you've got y is going to be now u to the power of 5. OK. So... We then differentiate, so we get du by dx will be 2. And we differentiate this with respect to u, and we get 5u to the 4. So dy by dx is the product of these two. So we multiply those two together, I'm going to get 10 u to the 4, and remember u is this 2x plus 7 to the 4. OK? And so that is the derivative of that. Now, how to do this quickly, you need to be thinking about, well, the derivative of what's inside comes outside. So the derivative of the inside is 2. That comes outside. You then bring the 5 down to the front and take one off the power. So the 5 multiplies with the 2 that's already outside, and you get 10, and you've taken one off the power. OK? So that's the process. But once again, if you're not sure, go through each step. OK? So number 2. We've got 3 minus x to the power of 4. So the u is the 3 minus x, the bit that's inside the bracket. And the y must then be u to the power of 4. du by dx will be minus 1. dy by du will be 4u cubed. So that when I multiply these together, I will get minus 4. And u is the 3 minus x, so 3 minus x cubed. So the derivative of what's inside, minus 1, comes outside. The 4 comes down to the front, and you take 1 off the power. OK? Same process each time. But if you want to write it out like this, perfectly fine. OK. Next up, this one. We've got the u must be what's inside the bracket. So we now have y equals u to the 5. So du by dx is 3x squared minus 3. dy by du is 5u to the 4. So when we multiply these two together, I'm going to write it as 5, well, um, probably best if I write it completely. So 5 lots of this. So 15x squared minus 15, uh, then u to the power of 4. So x cubed minus 3x plus 2 to the power of 4. Now, of course, you could factor the 15 out here if you wanted to. So 15 lots of x squared minus 1, x cubed minus 3x plus 2 to the power of 4. And, of course, that's a difference of two squares. So if you wanted to factorise that as well, you could. Now, the thing is that uh, why would you do that? Well, you must also be thinking that eventually there will be questions concerning things like stationary points. 
so it would be much easier for me to identify stationary points at 1 and minus 1 once it's in that format. Okay. Now what happened then? Well, the derivative of what's inside came outside. The 5 came down to the front and we took 1 off the power. That's what got us to that result. Right, let's have a look at the next one. Okay. Right, what have we got? 8x minus 3 square rooted. So I'm going to rewrite that as 8x minus 3 to the power of a half. So that it's clear that the u is the function that's inside the bracket, the 8x minus 3. And we will have y equals u to the half. So when I differentiate this with respect to x, uh, with respect to x I get 8. And differentiate that with respect to u, I get 1 half u to the minus a half. So when I multiply these two together, 8 times a half is 4, so 4u four to the minus a half. Now u is the 8x minus 3, so that goes in a bracket, and that's the power of minus a half. So the derivative of what's inside came outside, the power came down to the front, and we took 1 off the power. Okay? Right. Um, let me just raise that bit as well. Okay, number five. Y equals 1 over x plus 1. So I'm going to rewrite that as x plus 1 to the minus 1. So the u is clearly the x plus 1. Y must therefore be u to the minus 1. So du by dx is just 1. dy by du is minus u to the minus 2. And when I multiply these together, I'm just going to get minus u, which was the x plus 1, to the minus 2, which you can write as minus 1 over x plus 1 squared. So this differentiates to that. Okay? And that's number 5. Okay. So that leaves us with number 6. So y equals 3 over the square root of 5x plus 2. So I'm going to rewrite it as 3 lots of 5x plus 2 to the minus a half. Okay, these are the same thing. So the 5x plus 2 is what's inside the bracket. That is my u. The y, therefore, is 3u to the minus a half. So du by dx will just be 5. dy by du, the minus a half comes down, multiplies with the 3, so minus 3 halves u, and then take 1 off the power, so minus 3 halves. So dy by dx is the product of these two. So we'll have minus 15 halves u to the minus 3 halves. And that is the derivative of number 6. So with this one, uh, you've got the derivative of what's inside coming outside, getting the 15. The minus half comes down to the front, multiplies to the 15 to make minus 15 halves, and then you took one off the power. Okay. So there is a quicker way of doing these, and I'm going to go through some more of those examples uh, just using the quick method in the next video.